Application Polynomial Equations A5 An open box can be created by cutting congruent squares from each of the four corners of a piece of cardboard that has the dimensions 20 cm by 10 cm and fold it up the sides. Determine the dimensions of the square that must be cut to create a box with volume of 1008 cm cube. Okay. Let's first try to sketch a diagram and understand the question. So, let's say this is the cardboard box, 20 by 30. Correct? And from this box, corners, square corners are cut. So, this, this is the square corner, right? That's what they mean. So, I'll just draw this dotted line here. So, let the dimensions be 20 by 30. So, this is 20 total. So, let me write 20, okay, and this is 30. So, 20 by 30 is from here to here. 20 is this in centimeters. So, when you cut these corners and then fold the corrugated box, you get a three-dimensional shape, right? And the height of that will be the side of the square. And let the side of the square be x, right? Both sides. This is also x and that is also x. That means these two sides are equal. So when you fold it up, then you get a box whose dimensions are this inside dimension inside dimension will be 30 minus x and minus x x from both the sides so you get 30 minus 2x so that is the dimension of the box that is the base length and the width will be 20 minus x and minus x so it is 20 minus 2x and when you fold it upwards then x becomes the height of the box Correct. So try to understand this question. At times I've seen students will just write 30 minus x and 20 minus x and complete the problem. So that is first part and that gives us the volume and therefore the volume as a function of x for the box will be equal to height is x, width of the box will be 20 minus 2x and length of the box will be 30 minus 2x. Right. So whenever you have a question like this, another thing is, it's a real life situation. We need to find what the domain is. How much can x be, right? Can x be 20? It can't be. 20 is the total length. Can x be 10? Well, think like this. If you're cutting a box like this, x is like, let's say, 5 and then it is 10, it cannot be beyond 10, right? Because 10 is midway, right? That is one way of looking into it. Second way of looking into it is, these are dimensions and they have to be positive, correct? So none of these factors can be negative, is that okay? So if you see that, then x cannot be negative, of course, and here it says x can maximum be 10, right? Therefore, the domain is that x is less than so first is x is greater than or equal to 0, right? It cannot be negative. And second is that x is less than, we can write less than or equal to 10, right? Because if I have x more than 10, then this factor will be negative. And so the volume will be negative, which is not possible. So that gives us the complete situation of this problem. Now, the question is, Determine the dimensions of the square that must be cut to create a box with a volume of 1008 cm cube. Now these units are in centimeters, so the volume will be in centimeters. Now let us say, let me write centimeter for each, right? Now, let us say that the volume now is 1008 and we need to now evaluate the value of x. So. general method to do this is 
you need to expand this, correct? When you expand it, you get a cubic function because x times minus 2x times minus 2x, right? So 2 times 2, 4 and then x cubed. Your leading coefficient will be 4 and the degree will be cubed. So you get a cubic equation, 4x cubed plus something something and the constant here is 1008 when you bring it to this side, correct? constant will be 1008. So you have a cubic equation whose leading coefficient is 4 and whose constant term is 1008. So after expanding this, you need to figure out by placing different values of x which are factors of 1008 divided by factors of the leading coefficient which is 4 and then see what gives you the true answer correct so that is what gives you zero as your remainder that is what you are trying to figure out the value of the volume for a particular value of x which will give you zero when you take this to that side and expand this out so that is a real way of doing it now here is a shortcut method now i love shortcut methods and i know the real way is known to you fairly well but that is very tedious and time consuming uh, at times we may get to the shortcut methods. Now we know that the possible solutions are factors of 1008 divided by factors of the leading coefficient which is 4. Now so what we can do is in any case we have to do trial and error that means we have to plug in value of x and check correct. So let's start with trial and error why should we do expand all this then take away simplify and then figure it out. So what I will do here is that I will write different values of x and calculate what do I get. So I'll write values of x here itself. So let us say if x equals to 1 then what value do I get. So what I will do is if x is 1 then I get 1 times so 20 minus 2 is 18 and 30 minus 2 is 28 and calculate this value. Then I will say let x be equal to 2 and then I write 2 here and 20 minus 4 which is 16 and 30 minus 4 which is 26 right calculate that value then I'll say x equals to 3 correct now you plug in 3 here 20 minus 2 times 3 is 6 right so 20 minus 6 is 14 and 30 minus 6 which is 24 correct then I'll put x equals to 4 and I can continue and by doing this I can see which one of them is equal to 1008 so if I use the calculator which I have to use in any case right so so if I do let's start with 2 times 16 so we get 2 we get 2 times 16 times 26 equals to 832 so for this I get 832 and now let me do 3 times 14 times 24 and I get 1008. 1008. So that is what I was looking for. And therefore my solution is x equals to 1008. So, so at least I got one value, right? So that is what my answer could be. I say, well, the value of x which satisfies this particular question is x equals to 3, 3 centimeters. So that is my answer, right? So I can do by trial and error straight in the formula itself. I need not expand and do it. Note one more thing. It says determine the dimensions of the square that must be cut to create a box with this volume. Now we know x is 3, right? But 3 is not the dimension, right? So we'll say, well, now we write down the answer and let me use different thing to write down the answer and that is since x equals to 3 we can say height is 3 and length is 30 minus here we have written these are my dimensions right so dimensions are this is my height right and this is my width and that is my length right so I can write the dimensions are 24 centimeter by 14 centimeter by 3 centimeter. So this is one set of dimensions. 
you may get into a situation where there may be more than one answer. So there you are at a risk of not finding the other answer. In this particular question, you don't have that risk because it is not saying possible answers. So if the question says write all possible answers, it may be worthwhile for you to expand this, bring this term here and do the normal way. So remember that part also, correct? I hope you appreciate the method by which the problem has been solved and that gives you some brilliant ideas to do such word problems in polynomial equations. Thank you.